Science 6, Quarter 2, Module 6. Lesson 3, Ecosystem. Mangrove Swamps. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! Mangrove swamp ecosystem is composed mostly of mangrove plants and animals like crustaceans and migratory birds. The non-living part composed of water, sand, mud, rocks, and sunlight. It is an important system that allows for the breeding of fishes and survival of other marine animals. It is also a part of the coastal and marine ecosystems. There are varieties of marine and terrestrial life living in mangroves. Animals like white heron, and other birds, inhabit the mangrove canopy. Fishes and crustaceans live underneath the mangrove root system. Organisms like oyster and mussels attach themselves to the trunk and lower branches of the mangroves. Animals like monitor lizard, mudskipper, and crustaceans, such as shrimps and crabs live in mangrove swamps. Also, migratory birds like pelicans, spoonbills, and bald eagles are also found in this habitat. Some saltwater crocodiles can also live in Philippine mangrove swamps. The symbiotic interaction found in a mangrove ecosystem includes many organisms that depend on mangrove for survival. Animals like oysters, mollusks, and barnacles are dependent on mangrove for their source of food and habitat. Commensalism is shown when barnacles and oysters attach themselves to the roots of mangroves. Fishes stay in the mangroves during a particular stage of their life to grow and develop into a mature fish. Mutualism is shown when animals like crabs and mollusks help break down plant litter in a mangrove ecosystem through grazing. White heron eating a fish shows predation in this kind of ecosystem. Mangrove swamp ecosystem is important for they serve as breeding and nesting grounds of animal species. The mangrove shelter is used as shelter by fishes as breeding and nursing grounds before heading to the open ocean. Mangroves are also important habitat of organisms. Numerous animal species find protection and abundant food in this environment. It also acts as natural barrier and flood defense as they defend coastlines from flooding and erosion. Lastly, mangrove is an important source of livelihood of people living in coastal areas. Complete the following statements. Mangroves are important because they serve as breeding and nesting grounds of animal species, blank, blank, and a source of livelihood of people living in coastal areas. In this kind of ecosystem, blank is shown when animals like crabs and mollusks help break down plant litter in a mangrove ecosystem through grazing. Blank is shown when white heron ate fishes. Which group of organisms can be found in the mangrove ecosystem? A. Mussels, fish, corals. B. Worm, rat, fish. C. Butterfly, snake, bird. D. Mangrove trees, fiddler crab, fish.
What are the things needed by plants to make their own food? A. Water, chemicals and oxygen. B. Oxygen and carbon dioxide. C. Oxygen and chemicals. D. Carbon dioxide, soil and sunlight. Which of the following describes a canopy of the rainforest? A. Composed of trees that are 130 to 180 feet tall. B. About 59 feet and consists of trunk of canopy, shrubs, small plants and trees. C. Consists mostly of fungi, insects, worms and litter from taller trees. D has slender trees from a dense platform of vegetation with 60 to 129 feet. What kind of interaction is shown when one organism kills another organism for food? A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Parasitism D. Predation. It is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. A. Ecology. B. Ecosystem. C. Community. D. Population. One example of competition in tropical rainforest is when the shrubs and trees are growing together in one area. What do they compete for? A. Sunlight and soil nutrients. B. Oxygen and carbon dioxide. C. Chemicals and oxygen. D. Water and chemicals. Blank results from the interconnected food chains. A. Consumer. B. Producer. C. Food web. D. Biotic component. Why is the relationship between the corals and the algae in the coral reefs considered mutualistic? A. The corals benefit in the interaction and not the algae. B. The corals receive oxygen from algae, the algae get protection from corals. C. The corals receive oxygen from algae while the algae are harmed. D. The corals and algae live together without harming each other. What kind of interaction is shown when animals like crabs and mollusks help break down plant litter in a mangrove ecosystem through grazing? A. Competition. B. Commensalism. C. Parasitism. D. Mutualism. Why is producer important in an ecosystem? A. It is the source of food to the consumers. B. It is an organism that eats plants. C. It breaks down organism into smaller particles. D. It is a series of feeding relationship. Thanks for